an extremely busy weekend from coast to coast when it comes to the Breeders' Cup Challenge Series win and you're in. Two challenge races at Saratoga, the Sword Dancer, and on Sunday, the Ballerina. And then on Saturday here at Del Mar, an automatic entry was on the line for the Big Ass Fans Dirt Mile in the Grade 2 Pat O'Brien Stakes. They come for home and Laurel River slip through. Suddenly Speaker's Corner can find no more and Laurel River in full flight for the wire. American Theorem chasing gamely, but no match today for Laurel River. Laurel River, very impressive. So trainer Bob Baffert adds yet another Pat O'Brien to his CV, this time with Laurel River, a son of Into Mischief who had come into this race off of consecutive allowance victories. Bob telling us following the race he was always high on him, even considered running him in the TVG Pacific Classic, but didn't want to face up against Flightline at this stage in this Colts career. So Laurel River, a lot to come down the line for this Colt. And for more on the Pat O'Brien winner of 2022, we check in with Andy Biancone. Joining us now is jockey Juan Hernandez, who won the grade two Pat O'Brien win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile on Laurel River. Juan, that was such a confident ride. You had the pocket trip and just opened up in the stretch. Can you tell me a little bit about the trip? Yeah, so like I said yesterday, you know, Bob told me, he gave me a lot, a lot of confidence when you ride his horses. He told me just ride this horse to win. And you know that his, his horse is really professional. He broke really sharp and he he pulled himself in a nice position, so he, he dragged me there. So I just was I just was waiting behind be, behind horses to 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 some room to come through. Earlier in the meet, you won an optional claimer on this horse going a mile. How did you prefer the distance? Do you like him better going a mile or seven furlongs? You know, I think uh, last time going a mile, he won really easy. So I think he can go the farthest, the, the farthest they want to. So he's a nice horse. Like he showed up yesterday. I think he can go either way, mile, mile, mile 16 and shorter like, like yesterday. How do you feel like he improved from that race to the Pat O'Brien? You know, I think he improved a lot because, like I say, last time I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask him too much. But yesterday, around the around the turn, when 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 I find my, my space to come through, I ask him, and as soon as I ask him, he pick it up really well, and he he come through to the hole. And I mean, after that, I just was I just was smooching him a little bit. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't work too hard on him to to win that race. But you know, he's a nice horse. He was doing everything by himself. The Breeders' Cup will be hosted at Keeneland this year. How excited are you to be there? Yes, I'm really excited. You know, I, you know, you always wanna be riding on that big races. And right now, I mean, right now I'm here, and and I'm thanks to Bob for and the owners for the opportunity. If you know, and just try to 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 ride in good races here. Thank you so much, Juan. Congratulations on your big win, and looking forward to seeing you and Laurel River at the Breeders' Cup. All right, thank you. The Sword Dancer, one of two automatic entries this past weekend on the line in the Breeders' Cup Challenge Series win and you're in at Saratoga. This for the Longines Breeders' Cup turf. And Gufo was looking to defend his title. And now the field is in the stretch in the Resorts World Casino Sword Dancer. And here is Mira Mission now to take over from Tribuven. Gufo is putting in a late run. On the outside is Soldier Rising. Here comes Gufo up to challenge Mira Mission for the lead. And Gufo has got it. Gufo by a half length. And Gufo does deliver and defend his title in the Sword Dancer, punching his ticket to the Breeders' Cup turf. He competed last year at Del Mar in said Breeders' Cup turf, so we look forward to seeing him hopefully come this fall at Keeneland Racecourse. As mentioned on Sunday, an automatic entry on the line in the Ballerina, this for the Philly and Mare Sprint Division. Travel column with Good Night Olive on the outside. And Good Night Olive has now taken the lead. Travel column is back running in second. Then Caramel Swirl. Not today for CC. They're at the 16th pole. It is Good Night Olive by three lengths. Caramel Swirl in second. Good Night Olive wins the Grade One Ballerina. So it's Good Night Olive, the daughter of Ghost Sapper, securing herself a spot in the Philly and Mare Sprint at Keeneland Racecourse. We've got a very busy week ahead when it comes to the Breeders' Cup Challenge Series win and your ins out here on the West Coast, the TVG Pacific Classic, the Green Flash, as well as the Del Mar Handicap. You'll check those races out on FanDuel TV. And then on the East Coast, the Jockey Club Gold Cup and the Flower Bowl at Saratoga. Catch those races on NBC and Peacock.